Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to a new video where today's video, I hope you're gonna enjoy it as much as I am because it's going to be a very good time. We're gonna be doing a VIP meetup online, of course, where we're gonna be talking, hanging out. Maybe we'll do a live Q and A, but it's gonna be a good time and we're gonna be hanging out with people from all over the world. Now, before we get into the meetup, I just wanna say thank you so much to Cisco WebEx for sponsoring this video and making it possible. We also have two goodies in front of me, which we are going to unbox and this is gonna be perfect for the meetup. So I say I stop talking, I open them up, and let's get ready to have some fun. First up, we have the Cisco Headset 730. It actually comes in this very sleek and compact case. This is a Bluetooth headset and has 20 hours of talk time. Let's try them on. Also comes with a little USB of which you can plug into your computer. So here we have buttons where we can control the audio as well as for going forward or backwards. Also, if you touch the middle, you can activate the voice assistant. And over here we have the on, off, as well as noise cancellation. What else do we have? Oh, this is the Cisco WebEx desk camera, which is very exciting because, you know, if I don't have an external camera hooked up, um, sometimes the internal cameras in devices just doesn't look good. Very small, which is nice. Hey Maddie, you wanna come sit on my lap? Okay. Maddie wanted to come up and say hi and see what we're doing. Hey bud, this is the Cisco WebEx camera. Smell, sniff it, learn about it. And of course we have, um, we have here so you can screw in to a tripod if you want. He's falling asleep on my arm. What do I do? Yeah, you rest my child. Just read the pamphlet. This also does have a little extra privacy where you can just slide this over and your camera is then covered. So this desk camera actually provides up to 4K Ultra HD quality. So it's honestly going to feel like this meetup is in person because I'm going to look so crispy and so vibrant. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all set up so that we can all hang out and have fun at the meetup. I'll see you soon. Okay, so we are officially all set up. I have been traveling, so the set's a little different. Long story, doesn't matter. But we have officially set up the WebEx call. I have sent out a meeting that I have scheduled and people are going to be joining me and I'm gonna be using the Slido features. I think it'd be kind of a fun way to do like a live Q&A as well as maybe take some polls. So we have some people already waiting, uh, but the meeting does not start for four minutes. So they're gonna have to keep waiting. Okay, this is exciting. Hi, welcome to welcome to the meetup. This is Suki. Hi, Suki. Hi, Emily. What's going on? I see a lot of people in the car. I didn't give you guys a lot of time to prep. I wanted to kind of do like a like an Ask Jenna because it's been a very very long time. There's also this new feature on Slido where you can ask the questions. That's what we're gonna do for like the question and answer. Okay, I'm gonna turn on moderation even though I trust you guys. Okay, Lewis. Great question. What are my plans in the future as a content creator? That's a that is a terrifying question because um, you know I was getting ready earlier today and I was noticing all of these gray hairs and realizing that I am getting a little bit older and that I've been doing this for like 11 years so I'm actually pretty excited like I mean at content creation like I feel like I'm gonna do it until it like doesn't make sense but my sister and I actually have some some bigger projects and things that we're working on so I'm actually really excited about that oh we've got more questions what camera and mic would you recommend for someone who is starting off that is a good question I guess it depends on like price range like honestly I've told so many people that whatever phone they have like use your phone and invest in like audio because I feel like audio is very very important I've been using the Sony ZV-1 as like a little point-and-shoot camera half the time I end up just using my phone and there's so many different little audio things that you can just add to it to make the audio better is that a nan light it is. yes I love the nan light Noah do you think you'll live in California in the future after going back home for a long time I've realized a few things I love the weather in California but I love the like taxes in other states so for the near future I think I'll live here but probably not forever we can also do a poll this is gonna be a good one. Oh no are we taking a test no this is it's like a an opinion okay <laughs> Okay, here we go, ready? So the question in this poll is which phone? iPhone, Android, or other? Seven votes for iPhone! <laughs> I really like Android though, so it's like, there's no hate against Android. Well, I have a question from David that he texted me. He wants to know like what your three pieces of advice for beginning content creators are. I feel like starting out, people are really nervous or like hesitant to do it. But if it's like something that you want to do and you like truly believe in, I say just kind of go for it. You don't know until you actually do it. And it's very, very scary. Hearing feedback and comments and people are so mean, like it's definitely something that you have to kind of get used to. Another piece of advice would be to collab. 
collab with people if possible, form those relationships. I should take my own advice because I <laughs> don't ever do that. And I guess just be involved in as many social platforms as possible because you never really know one could go away at any time. So try to, you know, diversify. What do y'all think about um, the I just seen side of TikTok? Have you seen it? It's wild. I get sent links and I go, what is happening here? I want to know where it came from. We were trying to figure that out too. She's like, I'm getting these like weird, like this, like weird, but really creative videos from like TikTok memes. I'm like, no. She was sending me links. I was like, oh, these have like hundreds of thousands of views. You're not lying. Oh wait, I have one more poll. Okay, I want to do a poll because I have a, I have a question. Okay, favorite social media platform. So nobody voted for TikTok? TikTok isn't your favorite? I think Instagram is my favorite too. I just don't like that it's kind of switched to video content. Like I love like having like a nice picture feed. And then Twitter, I love Twitter. Twitter's good. There's also a button. Yeah, it's called reactions. So you can also turn on the recognize hand gestures. So it's like, it'll just recognize it. Whoa. Yeah, I guess we should have started off with this fun, right? Nice icebreaker. Oh, I can raise my hand. Oh, hi. Yeah, very cool. Well, anyway, guys, thank you so much for being a part of the, uh, you know, live-ish Ask Jenna. I probably didn't answer many of your questions, but it was uh, it was nice to chat with you guys. Thank you for having us. It was very fun. This was fun. I'll see you guys. Uh, I'll see you on Twitter and uh, Instagram because apparently you guys hate TikTok. All right, I've gone to Hawaii now. <laughs> oh, nice. Ooh, fancy. Ooh. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, Jenna. Bye. See ya. We just wrapped with the Q&A and it was so nice talking to everyone. Um, I kind of kept it kind of small just so it could be a little bit more of an intimate session. Um, it was really, really fun. It was so much fun that I actually forgot to hit record on the WebEx session. I was screen recording, but just completely forgot because once that meeting started, I was so excited. So I recorded the last half of the WebEx. The WebEx record is not a new feature, but it is a very, very handy feature that I've actually have done and used a ton over the past year and a half for you know different types of podcasts podcasts or different recording things. It's a great feature because it records the audio, records the video. It is not a new feature, but definitely one that is very useful if you hit the button. It was also really cool to use Slido. It is still kind of a new feature and it's still a beta that is integrated into WebEx where you can actually do polls, you can do Q and A's, you can also do immersive share as well as real time translation. It's funny because I always forget that WebEx has active noise cancellation and I still actually find myself apologizing for outside noise. I'm like, oh, sorry, there's a helicopter. Oh, sorry, you know, my dog's barking. And they're like, well, I can't hear you because it's, you know, there's active noise cancellation. And I'm like, oh, you're right. Webex also has a really great feature with transcriptions and closed captions. If a team member misses the call, they actually are able to do searchable transcriptions so that they can catch up or search for whatever they're looking for. And that way they didn't really miss anything. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you were a part of the meetup or if you missed it and I didn't pick you, I'm so, so sorry, but we will be doing this again in the future. Thank you so much to Cisco Webex for sponsoring this video. I had the best time. And I also now have a new little webcam which I'm excited about as well as headphones. If you guys want to like this video and subscribe that would be incredible and I will see you again next time.